The RPG-8 is Reason's built-in monophonic arpeggiator. It can only respond to a single device at a time, and it only plays a monophonic line. But other than that, it's an extremely powerful device to have in your rack. Let's start by deleting this arpeggiator. And just to show you that we can add a new one, we select the device we want to arpeggiate, which is this Thor, and we add an RPG-8. And there you have it. And when I hold down a chord, presto, arpeggiation. Now there's a lot more we can do than that boring pattern. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the back of the rack. Now the RPG-8 requires a couple of connections in order to control a device like the Thor. To start with, you need a gate CV out connected to the gate of the device you're controlling, and that sends note on and off as well as velocity. Your note CV sends pitch information, and then there's mod wheel and pitch bend. You can add mod wheel and pitch bend into your arpeggiated track, and it will play the mod wheel and pitch bend in your device that you're controlling. Now, if you look at the arpeggiator, there is an on off button, which switches the arpeggiator on and off. No big surprise there. And we can determine the rate synced to tempo by turning the rate knob. Of course, we don't have to sync to tempo. By clicking free, we can dial in our own frequency. There is a gate length knob, which determines the length of the arpeggiated notes. Zero means no length, you won't hear them. And then from short to long to tied. There are five arpeggiation patterns. The first is up, up and down, down, and then completely random. Every time is different. There's also a manual setting which plays the notes back in the same order that you play them in. By the way, you've probably noticed over here that the RPG-8 will show you the notes that are being played. Watch that window. It's a nice visual indicator of the pattern. You can't edit anything in that window. It's just for display. We have an octave choice, which lets us span the arpeggio from one octave to two octaves to three and to four. Over here is an octave shift, which shifts the entire arpeggio up and down three octaves. And like many of the parameters in the RPG-8, you can control that from the back of the rack with some kind of CV input. The velocity knob lets me change the velocity of the arpeggiated notes from very quiet to very loud. The manual setting will play the notes back at the same velocity that I play my notes. That's quiet and that's loud. The hold button holds the arpeggiated pattern even when I let go of the keys. I've let go. Still going. All right, enough of that. Just a few more things to talk about in this video. One is this single note repeat button. What this does is determine whether the RPG-8 arpeggiates single notes. If it's on, it does. If it's off, single notes play back normally until you play more than one note at a time.
So you can do some very creative things with the single note repeat button. And the last button I'll discuss in this video is the shuffle button, which shuffles the rhythm. Now the amount of the shuffle is controlled by something called the regroove mixer, which we'll talk about in a few videos. The regroove mixer defines the amount of shuffle. This simply turns the shuffle on or off. And that's a quick look at the RPG-8 monophonic arpeggiator.